All right, so it's another one of our favorite type of videos. Eating videos. <laughs> Especially candy. Especially candy that I've picked and know can't be terrible because I picked it. Surely, surely. Surely. Let's get to it. So this is just a few more things I picked up at the Kingdom of Sweets shop in London. Um, I'm pretty sure it's by Leicester Square. I will, I, do you know what, I know it is in Leicester Square because that's where I was when I went. Um, if anyone wants to know where it is, it's pretty awesome and we're gonna dig in. I got some ones I'm- What do you I, wanna start with? I know what I wanna finish with. What do you wanna finish with? The one, the best one, yeah. Right, okay. So, um- Let's start with something- Should we go for the nice easy one? Should we go for the Easter themed? Sure, okay. So I got a couple that were Easter themed, just cause obviously Easter is just around the corner and I'm a sucker for a good theme. Yeah. Um, now the two things I got are kind of, well this is the first one, it's a Hershey's bunny. Now I haven't had Hershey's since the first time I had Hershey's and hated it. Yeah, I don't like Hershey's chocolate much either. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Is I mean, it just a solid bunny? Yeah, it's just a solid. I'm kind of sad though, cause I don't want to eat him cause he's cute. Well, how about if I make him less cute by eating him? Oh no, oh. Oh wow, because I put these in the freezer because I don't like, like, I like my chocolate cold. I think we put them in the freezer for too long. <laughs> it starts out fine, but then there's that horrible American waxy, slightly vomity. Don't be harsh. No, I'm not. I'm, there's genuinely a chemical in there that is also found in vomit. True story. Hershey's chocolate sucks. I'm I like sorry. No, no. Hershey's cream is good. Yeah, Hershey's chocolate sucks. No, oh, I need a drink. It does taste a little bit like we just vomited. <laughs> like, that's the thing, like, people think that that's like a harsh joke or whatever, but it really does taste like that. American chocolate is not... Mm. Is it because they don't use milk? Is it non-dairy? There's like a preservative or like a certain acid that's used to keep it like shelf stable or something that just is horrible. Genuinely just waxy and horrible. Okay, well let's move on to the next one, which is one that we do have in the UK. Um, so I'm gonna interesting to see if it's any different. Um, I don't think they use different chocolate, but this is a Twix, but it's not just a Twix. They're shaped like eggs. Twix eggs. I love this. I know they do it with Reese's at like Halloween and stuff that they shape them like this things. This is weird. They're not. I've never had a Twix that isn't like a finger shape. Yeah, I know it's weird, isn't it? I thought these would be really cool. So these are Twix eggs. Yeah. Chink. Tastes a little different. It's better chocolate. Like, Nestle's better than Hershey's, 100%. And, I don't know, I prefer Twix in little narrow finger strips. I think that the biscuits are a little hard to get through, but I like this, it's a Twix. You can't go wrong with a Twix. But uh, hey, it's it's a pretty awesome novelty. Twix was fine. Twix was okay. Yeah. Twix was Twix. It was hard to go wrong with that one, I think. So they were like the nicest of the bunch, I think. There is only one more on there that's just in case I have something really horrible because I know I like it. What should we go for? Should we go for the little chocolate things next? We can have one each. Okay. So when we were in Florida last, we went to Cold- Oh, one's falling apart. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think that was in the bag. It was fine when I bought it. So we went to Florida last. We went to Cold Stone Creamery in uh, City Walk. And I found these at the till. Um, and these are Cold Stone Creamery Candy Cone Creations and they're chocolate creamy. Real sugar cone filled with delicious creamy chocolate. You didn't go very adventurous on these, did you? You went. I had an, a limited oh, amount of time. Little smarties in the top. To buy things, and I was like, do you know what these remind me of? The ones we had in Japan, Brendan. Sounds crumbly. Oh, you you demolished that. Good. The chocolate's not great. I like these. I don't like this. Really? No. What's wrong with it? The cone. I like that one. I really did. It was like um, just a cone with chocolate in it and then little lemon ends on the top. I thought maybe it'd be a little bit more like the one that we had from Japan where it was like foamier chocolate, like moussier. Creamy. I expected creamy chocolate. Well, that was quite creamy. Mmm. <laughs> You're really not sold, are you? No, I didn't like those particularly. Oh, I'm already starting to feel so sick. Okay, next up. Should we go for a horrible one? A horrible one? Okay. Oh, I really don't want to try these. So um, you may have seen ages ago on Instagram that I saw around Halloween actually. So these will still be in date, right? Oh yeah, they're Twinkies. They last for like 20 million years. You spoil the surprise. They had lime Twinkies and I was like, that sounds really cool. I have to buy them because they were reduced. And now I'm thinking, why did I buy them? Because they're literally green on the inside. It genuinely from the back kind of just looks like it's filled with cream that's expired. Where the outside's oh. just a regular Twinkie. 
and the cream is green tinged, but not like solidly green, like not enough green that you're like, that's definitely on purpose. You're like, was this at one point normal colored? It wasn't, it's always been this color, but it's just enough to make you kind of wonder, like, is this disgusting? I don't know why I bought these because um, we bought normal Twinkies and I had a hard enough time fobbing those off to people. Now I have lime Twinkies. I'm like, I, I've literally, every time someone's come around, I was like, do you want to try something weird? And everyone's gone, no. <laughs> so. <laughs> you don't sell it very well. <laughs> Maybe we're going to taste them and I'm going to be like, these are amazing. Yeah, I'm but you like lime them. flavored things. I don't particularly like lime as a flavor. They're always really greasy, which throws me off. Yeah, it's not quite the, the consistency you want from it. I'm going to break it in half so you can see. Oh, wow, look at this. No, I take it back. From the outside, it looks unintentional. From the inside, super green. I look at that. I didn't like it. It's fine. I really hate it. That lime is awful. No. I actually think these are quite nice. Those Twinkies go, they're fine. I'm gaining a pile behind you of stuff I don't like. And they are horrible. Ugh. You started it off by saying like, oh, these are all fairly safe. Well, yeah, they're awful. To be fair, I'm not hating on American chocolate. There's some American chocolate I really like. No, there's American sweets that like, like Twizzlers. Red vines. Red vines, which are pretty much the same thing. Oh, there's a difference. All the M&Ms. M&Ms are good. What else do I like? Oreos, all the Oreos. Oh. Yeah, they're good. Oh, flips. I love a good, do you know what, we should have just bought chocolate I would really like because that would have been a good use of my money. I didn't mind those. I mean, I actually think I prefer those to regular Twinkies. The lime adds something oh, to it. Yeah, rubbishness. No, I, I like that. It was kind of like a, a mild lime. <laughs> I think it, it makes them not overly sickly sweet, like just slightly bitter enough to cut just, through that. It just tastes like you made like tequila shots and you accidentally squeezed some lime on my Twinkie before I was eating it. <laughs> Yeah, but that sounds great. Oh, it doesn't. Moon pie bites. You've heard of moon pies before, haven't you? Moon pies are a new concept to me, but from what I'm aware, they're like a s'more in chocolate. Yeah, I think there's nothing in here that you need to be afraid of. I think this sounds right up your alley. I wasn't afraid of these ones. I just had never heard of a moon pie. I was like, a moon pie? Into the basket. You, they tear. tear. Oh no, I just thought, I think that they're made by Hostess, aren't they? No, they're not. No, because they're probably good. <laughs> oh! It should say in the little corner, shouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, they're made by some bakery. Some bakery? Please may I have a moon pie piece? Ooh, 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 too many! Too many moon pie pieces! Moon pie bite. Kind of odd in the middle. Not quite as smorish as I wanted, but... I don't know, that is a weird, that is a weird taste. I feel it starts to taste like coffee. Still slightly vomity chocolate though. It's just like gritty chocolate. Yeah. There's not enough of anything else in it to... That is a shame. Those had so much promise, so much promise, and they're just let down by chocolate that I don't enjoy and I'm not used to. I'm sure if this was the kind of chocolate I'd grown up with or had on a more regular basis, it would be like much easier to sort of get on with, but where it's just drastically different from any of the kind of chocolate that we have over here, it's a real shock. It's like when you eat or drink something that's not what you thought it was. It's not necessarily bad, it's just you were expecting a different taste. And I think that's kind of what's throwing me off about it a bit. It's like, I'm just expecting like some sort of dairy milk type flavor to come through because that's what chocolate tastes like to me. But it's just not quite that. Because you keep calling it vomity chocolate, I'm never gonna un feel like it's vomity chocolate now. You ruined American. I never thought of it as vomity chocolate before really? now. Really? How does that not like well, instantly? it does now. <laughs> it didn't before. How? Right. Most chocolate's fine. Like, Nestle is pretty good. Okay, it's, right. These I got mainly for Ash because they sound disgusting to me. Oh, there's so many. Yeah, one's for me. The nice non... Oh, you get the nice little cop out one. I got the watermelon. And the ones I picked for you, these were four for a pound, I believe. So it's still quite expensive, but I was like, you know what? So I've got something called Lava Rocks that says spicy on it. Yeah. I have something called Th Zombie, which is candy gum, super acidic. And one that says it's liquid lava filled gum. The Destroyer. Ooh. So I'm, I'm going for all of this. I'm going to have my watermelon one. I'm going to start with the zombie. I like this because I don't know if you can see, it actually looks like a watermelon. Do you know what it reminds me of? They're similar looking. Let's not mix them up though. Um, this reminds me of the ones you get from the 20p machines. Yeah. 
Mmm, that's pretty good. I don't actually like watermelon that much. That's pretty sour. Mine's like, no, oh, sour water. Kind of. Not very it's good. watermelon as well. Is it? Mmm. The watermelon's good. I'm glad I didn't go for the sour and just got the watermelon. Mmm, that's the best thing I've had so far. And that was the one I only got because I was like, well, I'll probably have to eat one of these. And if I get one that's not bad, then I can just eat that one. Mine was just like a very, very sour outside and then just like a nice watermelon hard candy in the middle. Oh, it's bubblegum. I swallowed it. Does that matter? Not really. Okay. I always got told when I was younger that if you swallow bubblegum, it takes you seven or ten years to digest. Which is totally not true because yeah. the acidity of your stomach destroys it pretty quickly. But I was always the fear that I would have like all the bubblegum in my stomach when I was younger because I used to eat bubblegum a lot. Especially Hubba Bubba because that just tastes too good not to eat. That's the issue. Do you remember Hubba all, Bubba? Yeah, Cola Hubba Bubba. Wait, was Hubba Bubba the one where you bit into it and all the liquid? Yeah. Like, see, I like the strawberry Hubba Bubba. Do they even sell Hubba Bubba? I don't think so. It's a really weird thing to say. Uh, oh, do you want to go get some Hubba Bubba? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm like, are you going to do both of these? Well, I, I would have said that you should do one, but... I don't like the sound. That sounds like it's cinnamon. That sounds like I don't like it. So really, I'll tell you what I'll eat while you're doing that. Yeah. So oh, I you just know you like these. This yeah, isn't fair. I wanted to eat them. <laughs> so I also picked up some pretzel M and M's, which I like. So, uh... oh, the picture of the bags. He's unhappy with the pretzel. But this doesn't look appetising. Let me see. I can't see the lights. Ooh, that is gross. Oh, it looks like lava. It's got glitter on it. I mean, like they've done a really good job making this look like lava, but I'm gonna have pretzel M and M. Oh, I forgot how big these were. Yes. This wasn't really sour or spicy. What was the flavour? Couldn't tell you. No, oh, that's a shame. What was that one? The Destroyer? Or Lava Rocks? Liquid lava filled bubblegum. Kind of like a cola, it feels like. I think these are red. Do we have any colouring anymore? I know we stopped it for a while. All of our stuff doesn't have very good colours in because they outlawed it. No. Last one for Ash is the Lava Rocks. Let me have a look at it. I'm going to say, it says spicy, but I'm feeling the spice is going to be cinnamon. I think so. Oh, that one's a cool shape. It is a weird shape. Can I smell it? it smells like Play-Doh. Yeah, it does a bit. <laughs> is that not soft? No, it's soft as I hope them. Kind of like watermelon a bit. Why do they also taste like watermelon? They had like extreme on all the labels and I was like, oh, there we go. That's something Ash will like. And they've been nothing but disappointment. Oh no, this one does taste a bit more savoury. Slightly spicy. Like a savoury gum. Like a cinnamon gum? No, it's not cinnamon. Okay. It's all right. It's fine. I can't identify the flavour. I'm sure it tastes of something. I just don't know what that something is. It's, it's quite nice, actually. I like it. Is it spicy, spicy? No. No. Yeah, but your spice tolerance is ridiculous. You go for the extra, the new Nando sauce, which is like, they Not literally said, spicy. well, they said to you, be careful. It's really, really hot. And you were like, blah, 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 all over your food. It's mm. kind of like, um, slightly smoky. It reminds me a lot of like barbecues. I hate that. I'd hate that so much. I mm. hate smoky flavoring. Blech. Last one to try. And these are the ones I'm most excited about, but they were also the most expensive. How much do you think these were? Okay, so let's hold it up and like, Point it at the camera. Okay. So that everyone in America knows what I'm trying to guess about. So these are Chewy Chips Ahoy soft cookies, and these are birthday frosting filled. filled. So they're cookies filled with frosting. Now, looking at the package and thinking about kind of size and weight, I think these were eight pounds. Nope. <laughs> Worse? Worse than eight pounds. 10 pounds. Nope. Twelve pounds. Twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. That's 12... like fifteen bucks. Yeah, fifteen bucks for a pack of Chips Ahoy. Bearing in mind, you can also get Chips Ahoy in the UK in like the pound shops, but the birthday frosting field. Why would I not buy those? Lift for Cookie Joy. Do I will. Lift? I would love to lift for Cookie Joy. Give me the Cookie Joy. You're not doing a very good job of it. Cookie Joy. I'm done. Okay. Uh, don't smell them yet because it's still the plastic from the inside. It's coming <laughs> Cookie Joy. This is a terrible packaging. 
Right, show the cookie joy. Don't rip it all the way off because we need to reseal it. Cookie joy. These look like smarty cookies with birthday cake filling. Do they feel super squidgy? They're greener and smaller than I thought they'd They're be. They're pretty soft. I knew they were chewy, but... All right. Shall we You're have excited some... for this, I can tell. Birthday cake frosting filled chips ahoy. I'm going to break mine in half. Ah, oh, you can see the layer in the middle. That's really cool. It's like a totally unnecessary level of sweetness that's coming out from the middle of these. Like, you don't need these at all. Like, cookies are already pretty sweet enough, but I really like this. Oh, it is a lot. <laughs> this is good. Do we have birthday cake frosting in the UK, like, in the same way this is? It doesn't taste like this. Those are very good. You don't need to eat more than one of those, though. So. Is it reseal? Yep. That's another thing I really like about American packaging. They reseal really satisfyingly. Hmm. And some of our stuff you have to fold over. I don't like them. Okay. I like Chips Ahoy birthday cake frosting filled. Yes, definitely. Cookies. I'm feeling quite a sugar rush at the moment. I don't know about you. There was quite a bit of sugar and quite a lot of chocolate and we kind of ate... Everything. Everything. So what was your favourite? I have three favourites that I can't pick between. They're also... <laughs> well, I have my M&M pretzels because I know I really like them. Yes. The watermelon bubblegum was refreshing, but it was just watermelon bubblegum. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with the Chips Ahoy birthday frosting filled because... That's really random. That's really cool. I like having a filled cookie. I really like that. And I think more places need to do more filled cookies, please. That would be fantastic. Like think of the variety of fillings you could have in stuff. It makes them like Oreos, but more like biscuits. That's great. Our Tesco's has red velvet filled cookies. Mm, I don't want that though. I don't really like red velvet, okay. but I appreciate the concept and I will be looking out for that in future. Because more I... filled cookies. Oh, yeah, that's a thing that I want to see more over here. Definitely. Would they taste good warm? Yeah, I'd imagine that they'd taste amazing warm on the top of an ice cream sundae. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, thanks for watching us was... eat overpriced $15 Chips Ahoy cookies. There were some interesting ones there. I feel at some point I'd like to do like a almost like a tuck shop box swap with someone from America. Like, someone from America who hasn't tried English sweets or chocolate and swap a box. So they pick their favorites and we pick our favorites. Cause I feel sometimes you can't really tell if you're getting the best of a country's food because you don't know what's good and what's not good, if that makes sense. Yeah, you don't want to end up buying a thing and everyone would be like, oh, you tried those? No one ever here eats those. Like five people like them. We don't know why they're still being made. And you're like, oh, but they were in the American shops. So I just thought that they were really popular because they'll just import whatever. They'll import anything they can get their hands on. So you end up with some really obscure stuff that you know, you sort of bring up and people go, oh, that's made it over to you guys, but this amazing candy you've never heard of hasn't. So that's a really good idea. It's like coming over here and eating... If someone was like, oh yeah, I bought a Boost Bar. What's a boost boost bar? bar sucks. Everyone hates Boost Bars. Or like, I don't know, because all our chocolate's actually pretty good. I'm trying to think of like a, a Palmer Violets. If they were like... I bought some British candy the other day. I bought these things called Parma Violets and they tasted like perfume. I don't know what British candy is all about. And we'd be like, yeah, they're, they're the ones that are always left at the bottom of the box because no one wants them. I like Parma Violets. Yeah, but they taste like perfume. So yeah, if anyone wants to do that. <laughs> There's a subreddit called Snack Swap where you can do exactly this. I want so... a Snack Swap because I remember when we took my friend Cody who lives in America some sweets and he was like, what is this? This is amazing. I did also give him Marmite and tea bags, which I don't feel he appreciated as much as the candy. But I want to do that because I want to know what's good. Yeah. Well, so that's the thing. Let, let us know in the comments what's good and what we should absolutely look out for if we ever go to anywhere selling American stuff. What's your favorite number one thing that you think we should totally find? And if someone starts the comment with, hey Miley, what's good? I'll appreciate it 10 times <laughs> more. So thank you for watching everyone and we will see you again next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and why not subscribe to our channel? You can also check out one of our other videos that should be on screen right about now.